Beefalo Watch 2020 continues here in Plymouth after a thousand pound animal was able to escape from an animal processing facility just a couple of weeks ago. Last thing we want to do is cause any harm to this animal. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and get a drone up today, spot them, get some officers in the woods and push them to a, uh, an open trailer where we've we've stocked it with some grain and some hay. Plymouth police say the beefalo was spotted by Route 72 and Judd Street just a few days ago. Police had also spotted the animal, but were not able to catch him when he started bowing his head and scratching the ground before retreating back into the woods. The biggest thing is just to stay away from the animal. It is aggressive. It has charged at a couple people already. And the biggest public safety concern we have is, in fact, that if someone hits this animal, a thousand pound animal versus a car, it could be quite catastrophic. Today, with the help of Connecticut State Police and DEP, the Plymouth Police Department used drones to try to locate the animal who was spotted around 830 this morning with infrared technology on the drone as police worked to try to coax him into the beefalo owner's trailer. Yep, I've spoken with the owner. He's out of uh, Beckett, Massachusetts, and he has said as soon as we, we recover the animal, he's going to help in that, that capture, and he's going to bring him home and uh, give him a good life on the farm. Police are warning the public, if you do spot the beefalo, do not approach him as he is considered dangerous and skittish. So we're asking the public to please stay away from the area. The animal is skittish. We don't want to scare it away. And if you show up in the area and you want to see it, all you're going to do is hinder our aid in trying to get that animal back safely into the trailer. Reporting in Plymouth, I'm Margo Farrell, Fox 61 News. Margo, thank you. And for those of you asking, half bison, half cow is what a beefalo is. And it's on the run here in Connecticut. Not good.